Welcome everybody to CB 0.25 patch notes, Rome's Desire. So, what's new? We're gonna have Refer a Friend, new Refer a Friend system has been added that allows you to gain rewards for referring friends to the game. Each referred friend that reach level 7 awards one card pack and having 10 referrals reach level 7 awards the Pandemonium Odin skin. That's actually a cool way to get a free skin. Now, um, oh, before I continue, uh, they should be patching soon, maybe tomorrow, but I'm really not sure about that. Um, if it doesn't go tomorrow, they probably will be going on the next week. Uh, so keep that in mind. So enemy feedback, and that's a cool thing that they're adding. This patch, we have added additional enemy feedback. When considering movement or deploying locations, you will be quickly able to tell which enemies are able to move and attack your, your next turn. Enemy threats are indicated by a yell exclamation mark that displays above their head. So basically, when you're putting stuff, spawning stuff, you will see which of your enemies can attack them on your next turn. With that exclamation mark. And it's really cool, and it's going to be way easier instead of just counting all the squares. Like everybody's doing and it's really annoying we have some awesome new card art for banish um like so cool uh chow fang uh no that's oh yeah that's teleport here that's chow fang that is kang that's valhalla's blessing some really cool art there um we're gonna have a new Legendary, it's gonna be Venice uh, in Roman, which is like the other side, counterpart of uh, in Greek Aphrodite, which is gonna be a four mana two four, and her passive is whenever an enemy moves, deal one damage to them. It's gonna be like cool with cards like Discord and and the Blink and just the later ability itself. Now Nox is also coming into the Roman pantheon, so Roman are the only one with new cards. Yeah. And she's going to be a legendary 2 mana 2 1. Warcry's enter friendly units and give your attack and health as a buff to that unit. Basically, 2 mana to give plus 2 plus 1. And whenever the unit dies, she pops up and you get a 2 1. That is range. Also, that's going to be really cool. So, two, two new legendaries for Roman. Like, the only Pantheon with new cards are Roman and they get two legendaries. That's pretty big. Also, general chains, they added summoning stones, damage ethics, they added a new turn notification, added chat notification in the bottom left. The combat log now display leader's ability. That's really cool to like figure out what they did on their last turn. Added the last ability to choose easy. No, added the ability to choose easy and medium difficulty in practice versus AI. I guess for new players it's gonna be useful. Visually enchants or unit attacks in a health bar. Uh that's cool. Like um, they added visual indication on unit attack and health numbers to properly display when they are damaged or buffed. So when units have their attack or health buffed, the number will change color from white to green. And when units have their attack or health debuffed, the number will change color from white to red. Which is really useful as you can see here. Um, so moving into balance. So uh, that was the balance of pushing with CB0.24 hotfix. But here we're going to be reviewing it and what could affect the gameplay. So, Alcoin attack reduced from 5 to 4. Now, Alcoin will be uh, less of a problem to trade into with melee units. And, and that's going to be obviously a, a, a big nerf. Uh, not, you know, it still has its identity of buffing your Crescent Blades. But Crescent Blades, as you could have saw in the last few days, have got a significant nerf that makes it... Uh, Alquang synergy even worse. Now, I was going to talk about it uh, before, but that nurse for sure the Chinese Pantheon. Now, Atina health is reduced to six. I think it's really strong, honestly. So she needs some kind of a nerf. That was maybe not the nerf I wanted to see, but at least it's a nerf. So like that. Um, I'm not uh, Alquang. It's kind of okay. Bested cats are now considered beast. Uh, yeah, that was something that was needed for some reason. Like it was not considered as beast, so it was really awkward. Uh, nonetheless, um, you know, uh, like Scott said on uh, the uh, when they were revealing the changing, like if you have um, how it's called, uh, 
not, not the white tiger, the other one, the hyena. If you have an hyena on board and then the Bastet dies and then you spawn three cats, the hyena goes to 5-5. Five, five. It'd be fun. But yeah, some some weird stuff can happen with these beasts now. Calamity uh, cost reduced from 3 to 2, which is uh, the card that stuns in a row, if I believe, for 2 mana in Chinese. Uh, that's a buff. I um, mean, will it be played? I don't know. Maybe if someone finds a deck to make it work. And now, Cataclysm, uh, reduced cost from 3 to 2, same thing, will be played. Maybe. Now, I mean, Fist of the Gods, some people will play. I, I was enjoying it at some point. Uh, not near dispatch, but Cataclysm, 2 mana, and hit 4 targets could be really cool. Crescent Blade, uh, mana increase from 0 to 1. And here's the big thing. That's really huge. It goes from free to need at least one mana to play one. And now you can just not all empty out, right? That's a huge nerf to Crescent Blade. Um, and that's like a huge nerf to the Pantheon itself since your leader ability makes Crescent Blades. Anyways, um, that's like the Thrones for sure. Like Chinese will not be the best deck for sure now. The Gaz cost reduced from 1 to 0. I mean, it was not played, it will still not be played. It's just not a good card to put into your deck. It's not something you want to draw at any point into the game. Um, Dragon King, cost increased to 5 to 6. Now, yes, I understand, because Dragon King is a really powerful card that can burst a lot of stuff, and especially if you have an Aquang, it didn't burst for 8, and still really good. But there's so much nerfs right now to Chinese that, I mean... It's a, it's a bit too much nerves for me, in my opinion, at the, on the same patch at the same time. But yeah, for sure, I can understand that Dragon King nerfs, and I, I don't disagree, and I I, kinda, I think it's a good one. Fire Giant. Now, this is a little bit overkill, but yeah. Um, it now, the new passive has Cleave, and Warcry deploys to Fire Imp. Its cost is increased from 7 to 8, and its attack reduced from 7 to 5, and its health increased from 7 to 8. And not, no longer has global guard. So, to resume all of that, Fire Giant is basically, or will be, basically, a 8th mana, 5 8th, that spawns with 2 Fire Imp, and attacks and cleave. Now, that's, that's what I call a legendary unit, or a legendary minion. So, um, honestly, it could have been, I think the cleave is a little bit too much. But that's all. I mean, I, I would have given probably probably 10 health, though, just to make him survive. Just, you know. Cleave, though, that's that's really harmful. But we'll see how he, he does in the battlefield, but it's going to be played now. Um, Probably. Especially that Phantom Grass cannot steal him anymore. But at least you always get that value with the deployed the two fire imps. So, Fire Giant. Maybe back. I don't know. Focus Blast, damage increased from 2 to 3, and health increased from 2 to 3. Uh, health was already at 3, though. That's probably a typo, um, like said uh, Scott uh, on the, the live stream. Um, Hell is going to be giving plus 2, plus 2 instead of plus 1, plus 1. Uh, some people already have noticed that. Um, so, yeah, she's now going to be, like, saying in the back line, you're going to pop... A 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. Attack that 1-1 one, one with charge. It's going to be a 3-3 three, three with charge. You can ram it down your opponent. It's going to be really powerful. Um, Hell could like make uh, Norris of mid-range really, really good. And Nuwa has a new ability. It still adds a Crescent Blade to your end. And it's reduced its cost to 0 until the end of the turn. So this really pushed Nuwa to use their, her blade when she... Puts it in her hand instead of stacking them up and just combining them on the next turn. On the next turn, like 5, 6, 7, 8. Now you actually need like 1 mana to cast them. And that's really huge nerf again to, uh, to, uh, sorry, to, um, to, uh, now, uh, we also have pardon cost reduced from 2 to 1. Um, and that is going to, not really affect pardon i mean that's about it <laughs> moving on to seven of doom uh work r work cry damage increased from one to two so maybe we could see sign of doom the problem with sign of doom is that it, it is a two drop 
Uh, but you don't want to play it on the first turn because you have nothing to buff. Which makes it a 2-drop that you don't play in 2-drop, so... It, it's like a filler card. And that's meaning that you're going to play it if you don't play on curve. And most of the decks want to play on curve. Since midrange is so prevalent, it has an archetype now. Which means Sign of, not Doom, Sign, of Doom, Sign of Doom not really good in this meta. Like, when we had leaders, at least you can buff your leaders. But then they removed buffing the leaders, so then he was not good. So yeah, I mean, the buff is cool. Like, it's really cool. And, and good. But it's just not in the meta. Scylla, health reduced from 3 to 2. And I like that, right? It's because Scylla with 2 health is weak. And it needed a buff at 3 health. But now that um, Zeus can buff your gods... Scylla was too strong. They needed to like tweak her down a little bit. And I like that to put it at 2. Because then if you play her at 5 and you buff her with um, this ability. She's like a 2-3 now charge range. That gets buff if she kills something. So yeah, I like that change on Scylla. Sun Wukong Oxform will receive a buff from Aquang. That's more of a buck fix than a buff, uh, than a nerf. But you know. Uh... Sure. Soldier now has charge. And that's interesting because they changed Soldier to give him charge to affect the board when he's played to buff your army, but they didn't do that to Spartan. Why? I guess maybe because Soldier is more aggressive while Spartan is more defensive. But at the same time, they kind of have the same aura. So yeah, a little bit weird on that part also. Um, but I like that change honestly. I think it's cool. Um, we're probably going to see some soldier, soldier, and soul warden health increased to three. Yeah, that wasn't something that he needed because four mana for two health is really poor, especially you know stone warden health got nerfed to two because of Nuwa that could buff beast and it was really powerful with stone warden. But now that Nuwa ability has changed. Stone Garden needed his help back just to readjust everything, so I really love that change. Um, and the bug fix, real fast, um, there are the bug fix that put, were pushed with CB 0.24 out fix. It's basically Cupid Hard Bomb not works. Uh, fix and shoot where Loki will not properly tear apart when attacking. Yeah, he was like attacking but staying where he was and not taking return damage from melee units. It was really weird. Fix and shoot where Mercury could sometimes crash the game. I didn't, I didn't really play, so I couldn't. Not, I never really saw that. Fix an issue where Guanyu passive will be blocked by spell immunity. That could be annoying. And fix an issue where Terror Warcry will be blocked by spell immunity. Yeah, that happened to me. And fix an issue where projection could target summoning stone. That's so funny. Like, you play your Isol Wukong, you buff him to 8 attack, and then you projection your opponent to summoning stone. Oh my god, that could be so, so nasty. Anyways, uh, that's a fix also. So all in all... Uh, I think we got some really good balance changes. We got some really good general changes. New cards. We got two new legendary cards. This is going to be cool. And amazing card heart. Uh, really nice enemy feedback. Um, yeah. I just That's that's a really good patch. CB 0.25 is a really good patch right now. So thank you for watching. I hope that you en enjoyed the patch note review. Um, I will not be able to try the patch this week. I will probably try it next week on Monday. Um, but I already prepared something for you, for you guys on Friday. It's going to be a new series that I'm starting. And you're going to see a little bit more of it. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. It really empty me out. And feel free to talk to me of anything you want in the comment. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you soon.